What's up everybody? It's Kelsey Brianna J here with my recommendations and my wish list for the new Sephora appreciation event. And this event took the beauty community by storm and by total surprise because we had no idea that this was coming. And this event is in celebration of Sephora changing their reward system. So as you guys know, Sephora has different tiers. They have the Beauty Insiders, they have the VIB and the VIB Rouge. The event is from August 24th until September 3rd and the first six days are reserved reserved for Rouge members and after that everyone is able to shop. Now Beauty Insiders are going to be earning one point per dollar spent. VIBs are going to be earning 1.25 points per dollar spent and VIB Rouge members are going to be earning 1.5 points per dollar spent. So that way you're going to accumulate your points faster and the best part of all, the part that I am so hype about is the fact that they have now incorporated the ability to redeem your points for gift cards. I am so hype about that alone. Like I have been wanting that for so many years and now they have finally come up with a mechanism for me to do so. So I'm very excited. Also note that you can use the 20% off once online, but you can use it unlimited times in the store. So make sure you have your cart ready before you press confirm. I'm doing this video in collaboration with Top Cashback. As you guys know, I've collaborated with Top Cashback before. And if you all are unfamiliar with the company, it is a rebate organization. So what you're able to do is get more money back off of purchases that you're going to make anyways. So Top Cashback, they have hundreds of different retailers that they work with, including Sephora. What they're able to offer you is a percentage back of your purchase. They have different percentages depending on different events, different times of year. But say for instance, they had 10% cash back for Sephora, and I'm just making that number up. That may not be what it is. You'll have to check on their website. But say for instance, that's the percentage that they have back right now. And you spend $100, you get $10 back. And it's very easy to sign up. All you have to do is follow the instructions in my description box. You click it, it's free to sign up. You click the retailer that you wanted to shop through. It redirects you to their website. So you're shopping on the regular website like you would anyway. You check out as usual and you get that money back. It accumulates in your account and you're able to cash it out via PayPal or you're able to trade it for gift cards which oftentimes have a higher incentive. You get a little bit more back. When you spend $25 and you have a new account, you do get a $5 bonus. But I want to go ahead and jump into my recommendations and wish list. Kicking off my recommendations with Tom Ford brushes. You guys know I'm a diehard Tom Ford fan and I actually just did a video overviewing Tom Ford Beauty on my channel. I will have it linked here if you're curious about it. Tom Ford is actually redoing their entire brush line and they're switching from natural hair brushes to synthetic brushes. So this may be one of the only chances you may have to pick up a natural hair Tom Ford brush if you are interested in them while they still are available. So I highly recommend you guys check it out. Check out my video too if you're kind of lost on where to start with that. But their brushes are phenomenal. Next, my only brow product that I've tried recently and loved is the Milk Makeup Kush Brow Gel. I love the brow gel. It comes in three different colors plus clear. I love it because the wand is so tiny. I love the tint to it. I love the color Dutch for my brows. It gives me the slightest tint of a lighter hue on my brows. But I love that brow gel. It holds my brows in place. I love how tiny the applicator is so I can brush through and not mess up my brows. Absolutely drop what you're doing and go put this in your cart. The Tatcha V. Silk Canvas Protective Primer. This has changed my entire beliefs on primer. I honestly am not the biggest primer person. If you guys watch my channel, you know I may use a primer once every blue moon, but I have found myself loving this primer. It smooths my skin out. It gives me the most beautiful canvas to apply my makeup. It's so silky like and it works with every foundation. I've not found one that it does not work with yet. The Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer is my new baby. I use it in some capacity every day. I love that concealer. It is the perfect everyday concealer, but it's still full coverage, but it doesn't look overly made up. I love it because it's naturally flawless and you can't get any better than that. I love it for underneath my eyes. I love it for all over my face. The finish of it is so beautiful. It's like a satin finish. It illuminates, it lifts, and best of all, it conceals. So the only foundation that I feel like you absolutely have to have and try during this sale is the Dior Face and Body Foundation. This foundation is so 
bomb. It gives beautiful coverage. It lasts all day. It's not drying. It's not too glowy. It's just perfect. It actually smooths out the skin and it gives you this airbrush, just soft, ethereal type skin. I love the way that it looks. I love the way that it wears. There's 40 different shades of it. Hopefully you don't have to mix, but trust me, if you do, it's worth it. It's lightweight feeling, so it's not going to feel just icky on the face and it's just an overall gorgeous glowy foundation the new Laura Mercier translucent loose glow powder you guys this powder is so so pretty and I actually have a review coming soon on my channel for this powder they have the original one and then they have the medium deep one for deeper complexions it is so pretty and so glowy and it's just angelic in the way that it looks because it gives your face this really beautiful soft look. Laura Mercier makes one of my favorite powders in general, the translucent powder. I use it all the time. And this one is just that one to the next level. If you want to glow and you want a powder to just give you that <clears throat> va va boom, that one is really pretty. Next we have palettes and I really love the Norvina palette. I feel like it's super different and I love the color scheme of it. I feel like it can transition well into fall with the color palette. It's like that one foot in summer, one foot in fall type palette. If you like cool toned eyeshadows and purple hues, I think that that'll be a winner. Soft Glam Palette, I'm still on that. I still love it. It's one of my favorite palettes to use on a daily basis. So I always am going to recommend it. I feel like it has every essential eyeshadow you need in it to do a beautiful look. The Natasha Denona Mini Lila Palette, gorgeous palette, beautiful, vibrant purples, it's very rich. You can do a lot of different looks with it even though it's only five shadows. You can use it by itself or you can use it in conjunction with other palettes. The Urban Decay Born to Run Palette is the perfect everyday palette that can translate into a night palette, that can translate into a going out palette, that can translate into a palette that you take to travel with you, like it's just a very versatile palette, it has all your stay Staples. It has colors to transition to more dramatic looks. You can do softer looks. It has everything you need to even do a fun, wild look. So it's just a really nice palette. Very well formulated. Urban Decay did a great job on it. Highlighters. I love the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit. It is a very fun highlighter palette. It has those iridescent colors in it and it's very glittery. I know it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. But I love it. I think it's super pretty. I love the way that it swatches on skin. If you are like Normani's complexion color, you need that palette. Point blank period. If you like highlight, if you like bold, intense highlight and you're her color, you need that. I really like the Pat McGrath Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio. I think that it is a gorgeous palette. It has different type colors in it. So like that pink is like that opal iridescent color. And then you have the middle color, which is that golden type green color. And then you have that really pretty golden bronze color. Very well formulated. You guys know Pat McGrath is always going to bring it in terms of her formula. She is not going to disappoint. Moving on to lips. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Bite Beauty French Press Glosses. I think that they are so pretty. They smell like coffee. Like very strong, intense, fragrant coffee. It's intoxicating and I love it. I also like the colors because they're neutral colors and variation. Next. Tom Ford has come out with new lip products. They've come out with lip sculptors. I referenced earlier that I did a Tom Ford video recently and I used the lip sculpture in the new video. Again, I have that linked already. But I love it because it's angled and you can really get a nice line with it. It's the perfect consistency to where if you struggle with lining your lips, this is great for you because it's user friendly. It's not too pigmented to the point where you feel like you're just drawing hard lines and by the end you're gonna have black looking lip liner no it's very soft it's easy to work with and it gives your lips definition the last product that I want to recommend to you guys is the Marc Jacobs hydrating lip gloss stick I love these things because they are hybrids of lip glosses and lipsticks at the same time the colors are really easy to wear I have on one now I have on the color sugar sugar and it's really easy because you can pop it on and it gives your lips this beautiful finish I think that it is an absolutely gorgeous product they have a lot of different colors my favorite is sugar sugar that's everything that's new that I recommend that you pick up during the sale if you didn't get a chance to get it when it released throughout the year but I have 10 
10 things that I want to share with you guys that are tried and true products that I feel like you just cannot go wrong with. The first thing being Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. One of my holy grail foundations I wear almost every other day. If I need a foundation that is going to last, that is going to be dependable, that is going to be there and have my back through any situation, that's the one that I go for. And Estee Lauder actually just extended their colors. So I think that it will be a great time to try it. The second thing is Anastasia Brow Wiz. No brow products can replace that for me. Nothing does it. Chocolate is my color. And I love that brow pencil. It's tried and true and it's gonna have my brows looking fire. Next is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I love that foundation. If I want to look glowy but not oily and I want my skin to look airbrushed and flawless, that's the foundation that I go with. I love Armani Luminous Silk. It's something about that formula. Once it touches my skin, it literally looks like luminous silk. Next, I love the Stila Shimmer and Glow Eyeshadows or either the Glitter and Glow Eyeshadows. I feel like they are such an innovative product, but nobody does it better than them to me because they stay on, they don't flake off, the colors are pretty. It takes your eyeshadow look to the next level and it looks like it took a lot of work, but it doesn't. Next, the Philosophy Purity Cleanser. Favorite is a mild cleanser. It works pretty much for every skin type. It removes makeup. I can use it to wash my eyes and it doesn't hurt. So I love that cleanser. I will always use it. Next, Hourglass Bronzers. They are beautiful, luminous bronzers. There are several different colors. My favorite one is Luminous Bronze Light. I love it. It gives me this really pretty J-Lo glow. Every time I put it on, I always am like, why didn't I put this on yesterday? Next, you cannot go wrong with any Pat McGrath eyeshadow. It doesn't matter if you want the large palettes. It doesn't matter if you want the mini palettes. They are all formulated beautifully. I eventually just got all of them just because I love them. But I love her eyeshadow formula. If you're curious about Pat McGrath eyeshadows, yes, the hype is still there. Yes, you still need to get one, if not two. If not all of them, you cannot go wrong with the Tom Ford new lipstick. I love Tom Ford, but I have a special place in my heart for Tom Ford new lipsticks. The formulation of them is so pretty. They have a different dimension than other new lipsticks, and I feel like there's a color for everybody, and you just need one in your arsenal. Next, these are personal to you, but I feel like you cannot go wrong with any skincare replenishments or I feel like you cannot go wrong with any fragrance replenishments or if you just wanted to take a time to try a new fragrance, now is the time when you get 20% off. So now let's talk about what's on my wish list. I don't have a very large wish list. Normally during this sale, I'm excited and I wanna buy something, but as you guys know, because you watch me on my channel, I do buy a lot of things already, so I have a lot of makeup, so it's not like I just have this long list of things that I'm just waiting on a sale to buy. I normally cannot wait and I just go ahead and buy them full price. But there are a few things that have intrigued me recently. And the first thing is the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow Brush. It's like a wavy type brush and it looks like it will hug the curvature of your face perfectly. I'm just curious about the materials and how it's going to apply and distribute the products. I really want to get another time for a bronzer brush. That is my favorite brush period. It doesn't matter if I have products on it. I can just sit there and rub that brush on my face because it feels so heavy. It's so fluffy and it just feels expensive and I love that brush. I'm curious about the Hourglass Extreme Caution Mascara. I've been toying back and forth like, should I buy the mascara? Should I not? Should I? Should I? Not? So I probably am going to go ahead and pick it up just because I have been looking at the new Marc Jacobs Omega Gel Eyeshadows. I have not tried them yet. I have not swatched them. They look pretty. They look up my alley. They're colors that I would definitely wear. I guess I've gotten to the point where I don't buy single eyeshadows as much. So I'm kind of like, ooh, a single eyeshadow and it's kind of pricey. But definitely having the 20% off is pushing me towards at least trying one. I don't know which color I'm interested in, but I kind of want to try possibly. Next, 
I noticed that Sephora has started carrying Dominique Cosmetics products. So I think that I want to pull the trigger and get the Latte palette. I already have the Lemonade palette and I did a look with it. I really think I want to try out the other palette because the other palette has a color story that resonates with me a little bit more than the Lemonade palette and I already have it in my cart, so I may go ahead. I actually got an email from Shiseido saying that they were overdoing the line, they really wanted to reinvent themselves, so I saw that they were coming out with a lip lacquer, like it's a Shiseido lacquer ink lip shine, and it's like a vinyl type gloss. <laughs> Y'all know I like glosses, so I probably am gonna get one of those just because I want to see how shiny it is. So that's everything that I recommend and everything that is on my wish list. Again, please make sure you sign up on Top Cashback's website. You guys, trust me, not doing it is doing yourself a disservice because it's money back for things that you are going to purchase and you'll get it back and you can apply it and buy more stuff like I do. So I will have the link down below and let me know some of the things that you plan on buying during this sale. I'm very curious to know what's in you guys' carts. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I look forward to reading you guys' comments. If you have not already, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you sub to my channel and I'll talk to you guys in my very next video smooches bye